Can Iga Swiatek win her second straight tournament, or does somebody else claim the 2024 Italian Open Championship? What's up, everybody? It's John Eric Paul. I here to do a preview and prediction of this year's 2024 Italian Open. It's going to be a fun, exciting tournament on the women's side, as it is a very packed field, as per usual, when it comes to the ladies' side of things here in tennis. So. Let's get started today by talking about the world number one, Iga Sviantec, coming off of that championship win over Irena Sabalenka in Madrid. That was an epic match. It was so fun to watch. And congratulations to Iga. Now she looks to win her second straight tournament here. And I like the draw for Iga here. But watch out because the number 14 seed, Alex Androva, has been a thorn in Iga Sviantec's side really all year. But still, either way, there's a very high chance that she ends up winning her half of the bracket because outside of that, I mean, really, who else is the person that steps up and challenges her? A lot of people might like Coco Goff out there, but Goff has not been performing too well here as of late here in 2024. And yes, I know Alex Androve is there. Maybe a player or two that might be able to maybe push Iga a tidbit here or there, but I just don't really see anybody being a big matchup problem for and really giving her any sort of fits. So I see Iga Shiantek definitely uh, coming out of her corner of the bracket, even probably that half of the bracket. So I expect to see her most likely in this year's championship. Now, let's go to last year's champion next year, Elena Rabankina. Rabankina, very good 2024 so far, but still hasn't won a WTA 1000 event. Very good chance for her to do so here. Uh, the draw, though, not going to lie. Here's going to be the one thing for Rabankina here. Very tough draw. Maria Sacchari's in her corner of the bracket, who's been having a very good clay season and playing very well as of late. And then Daniel Collins. Don't forget about Collins. Had a 16-match winning streak that just got snapped by Irena Sabalenka in last year's tournament. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do like Rabankina here a lot, but do not sleep on Daniel Collins here. Either way... Still going to go with the favorite out of that, Elena Rabankin in there. Um, and if she's to come out, then it's going to be who would she play in the semifinals. That takes us to the last corner here I want to look at, which is Irena Sabalenka's corner. So Sabalenka, uh, kind of a tough draw, but I think kind of doable here for her. You have Anz Jabbar on her side. She's been picking it up as of late, but how much has she picked it up? Because she's still underperforming a little bit here. Uh, so far throughout 2024. Then you have Elena Svitolina, who's had a bad showing uh, in Madrid. She's coming off of that. We'll see if she's able to bounce back. Yelena Ostapenko, though, the big-time sleeper here. We know that she's good on clay. She's won a French Open championship before, but still, at the end of the day, more than likely going to be Sabalenka. But either way, on this half of the bracket, if it's not going to be Rabankina, if it's not going to be Sabalenka, a few other big names out there. Question is now, who gets it done? And for me... I'm going to go with Iga Sviantec here just because of how good that draws. But what I'm hoping for, guys, I'm not going to lie, I want to see Iga Sviantec, Elena Rabankina run things back from what we just saw in Germany recently. Rabankina has that winning record over Sviantec, got it done on clay, and all of a sudden after that happened, it was like, it might be Rabankina's time here. She might be the one to de dethrone Iga Sviantec and take maybe that reign. I know it's going to be tough to put her really as the queen of clay, given everything that Iga's been doing the last few years on clay, but I know a lot of people are very high on Rabankina to kind of dethrone Iga there. We did see her win in Germany. Let's see if these two are able to run things back here in Italy. We know that Rabankina won last year's tournament. She's very talented on clay, so we'll see how it all plays itself out, but for what it's worth, given the draw for Iga Sviantec, I think she ends up winning this year's championship just based off of how good that draw is for her.